Not a single day goes by without mention of the environmental and climate challenges facing our world. The ice caps are melting and oceans are rising as we quest for answers and durable solutions. The good news is that there are sustainable answers and solutions. One of the most convincing is wind power. Wind is one of the most abundant natural energy sources in the world. And it's cheap. But it's tricky because it fluctuates. The main challenge with wind energy is to ensure a constant and reliable source of energy supply to consumers. And how do we do that when the energy source fluctuates as wind conditions change? This is the amazing story of how to integrate large amounts of wind energy into the power system. The wind power share of electricity consumption varies a lot from country to country. With a 20% share, Denmark is the leading wind power nation of the world. Connecting a few wind turbines to a country's power grid is not a problem. The large challenge is when thousands of wind turbines are connected to the power grid and wind power becomes a large part of consumption. For what do we do with the power when the wind is so strong that we generate more power than we can consume? And where will the power come from when there is no wind? Let's take a look at some of the main tools needed to make integration of 20% wind power a success in both windy and calm conditions. A wind power share of approximately 20% in Denmark has been reached by employing a number of tools. Naturally, it takes a great number of wind turbines. In Denmark, an effective scheme subsidizes the generation of electricity from wind turbines. Furthermore, they can be connected to the grid for free. Legislation and planning ensure that wind power is first in line to the grid and a national plan establishes where wind turbines can be erected. A strong and well-developed electricity grid within Denmark and to the neighboring countries transmits energy from the wind turbines out to where consumers are. Denmark is part of a strong electricity market where electricity can be bought and sold, all in all, to accommodate supply and demand and to ensure competitive and fair prices for electricity. A national transmission system operator ensures that the actual generation of electricity and its actual consumption always balance by asking the power stations to step on the brakes or to step on the accelerator or through import and export to neighboring countries. Despite the huge challenges of integrating wind power into the grid, Denmark has no intention of settling at 20% wind power. In 2020, a wind power share of approximately 50% of electricity consumption in Denmark is within reach. A variety of new tools could come into play as Denmark expands its wind power production with new and possible future offshore wind farms geographically spread around the country. Denmark has led the way with large-scale wind power. To learn more about the Danish wind case, watch the full version of Wind Power to combat climate change.